Hey, welcome to a new video. Deep beneath the surface of our planet lie some of the most terrifying holes ever created by the forces of nature. These mysterious openings in the Earth can form in various ways, from natural processes to human activities. Today we'll show you the 20 most dangerous holes on Earth. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Ice Cube is a remarkable scientific facility located near the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station, measuring 0.25 cubic miles or 1 cubic kilometer in size, entirely constructed from Arctic ice. Under the ice surface, at a depth of about 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters, Ice Cube consists of 86 strings equipped to detect neutrinos. The observatory's capabilities are further enhanced by two additional components, ice top, an array on the surface, and deep core, a denser subdetector. These additions allow it to serve as a versatile facility, capable of studying a wide range of phenomena. Ice Cube has the distinction of being the world's first gigaton neutrino detector. Its primary goal is to observe neutrinos emitted by the most violent cosmic sources scattered throughout the universe. Neutrinos nearly massless and without electric charge traverse vast distances from their sources without any significant loss of energy or deviation caused by magnetic fields. The completion of seven Australian summers of construction took place on December 18, 2010, when the last of Ice Cube's 86 strings was deployed in the Antarctic ice. After a decade, it finally reached completion, marking a significant milestone in the field of astrophysics research. Number 19. Chan Boari is an extraordinary step well, built over a millennium ago, in the village of Abaneri located in India. It's known as one of the largest and most fascinating step wells in the world, famous for its architectural beauty. It was constructed by King Chanda in the 9th century. Step wells, also known as Boari, hold a special place in Indian architecture and culture. Historically, they served multiple purposes, primarily acting as a reliable water source in arid regions. But step wells like Chan Boari were not solely utilitarian. They also served as social gathering places and locations for religious ceremonies. Women played a significant role at the step wells, responsible for fetching water and leading prayers and offerings to the goddess of the well in hopes of her divine blessings. It features an impressive array of 3,500 narrow steps, meticulously arranged in perfect symmetry, while descending to an astonishing depth of 65 feet or 20 meters. With its 13 stories, it has a distinction of being both the largest and deepest step well in India. Number 18. Discovered by experts in 1994, the Heavenly Pit holds the distinction of being the world's deepest sinkhole. It's located in Fengji District within the municipality of Chongqing, China. The colossal geological wonder spans approximately 1,762 feet, or 537 meters in diameter, and descends to an astonishing depth of 1,677 to 2,172 feet, or 511 to 662 meters into the Earth. The Heavenly Pit is characterized by its nearly vertical walls, and has an immense volume of about 42 cubic miles, or 120,000 million cubic meters. Located on top of the Defeng Cave, it owes its formation to the powerful underground river that carved its way through the region. The underground river stretches approximately 5.3 miles or 8.5 kilometers from the underground Tianjin Gorge, before emerging into daylight at the cliff of the Mingong River. At this point, the underground water system forms a magnificent 151 foot or 46 meter waterfall. In the depths of the Heavenly Pit, a rare ecosystem has developed, supported by 1,285 registered plant species. Furthermore, it provides a habitat for elusive animal species such as the spotted leopard, of which fewer than 10,000 are estimated to exist worldwide. Number 17. Devil Sinkhole is a national natural landmark and is adorned by the presence of one of the largest colonies of bats in Texas. This stunning location witnesses the emergence of approximately 3 million Mexican free-tailed bats. The sinkhole itself is a remarkable geological formation, featuring a shaft that is 49 feet or 15 meters wide, and plunges 141 feet or 43 meters down to the cave below. The cave has a diameter of 318 feet or 97 meters, and reaches an impressive depth of 351 to 394 feet, or 107 to 120 meters. To preserve and protect the fragile natural wonder, access to the caves is restricted. There's evidence that the site was used by campers from the Middle Archaic period between 2500 and 4000 BCE. The sinkhole is located just north of Rock Springs in Edmonds County, near Hackberry Creek. It's also part of an extensive karst system of underground caves within the porous Edwards Plateau. Its formation can be attributed to the collapsing of an underground dissolution cavity. Number 16. Hidden within the breathtaking landscapes of the northern shores of the Dead Sea lies an otherworldly-looking sinkhole, 
only accessible by kayak or boat. This place has experienced economic collapse over the past decade. Large swaths of land have been deemed unstable, leading to subsequent blockades of access. Farms, beaches, parking lots, and businesses have succumbed to the relentless grip of these sinkholes. In recent years, the problem has reached the doorstep of Kaberts and Gaidi which faces the threat of becoming the first community in the country to fall victim to a sinkhole. The underlying cause of this escalating crisis can be traced to the receding water level of the Dead Sea, which is retreating at a staggering rate of over 3 feet or 1 meter per year. As the groundwater level recedes from the shoreline, an ancient salt layer ranging from 16 to 196 feet or 5 to 60 meters below the surface is exposed to the ongoing flow of rainwater not yet saturated with salt. The gradual dissolution of this salt layer renders the surface increasingly unstable, ultimately leading to the inevitable collapse. Some geologists estimate that the Dead Sea region is already plagued by around 7,000 sinkholes, a number expected to double in the coming years. Number 15. Nestled within the scorching sand dunes of the Karakum Desert lies a mysterious area that covers about 70% of Turkmenistan. In this place resides a surreal spectacle known as the Gates of Hell. While its official name may be Darvaza Crater, the origin of this massive glowing pit remains shrouded in mystery. Darvaz is a flaming gas crater that has been spewing fire for decades. According to legend, Soviet geologists were searching for oil in the heart of the desert in 1971, when they unexpectedly tapped into a large pocket of natural gas. The earth beneath them gave way and collapsed, creating three large sinkholes. To prevent the methane from escaping into the atmosphere, it was decided to ignite one of the sinkholes, assuming it would extinguish in a few weeks. According to local Turkmen geologists, the colossal crater with a diameter of 226 feet or 69 meters and a depth of 100 feet or 30 meters first appeared in the 1960s. Intriguingly, due to the immense value placed on gas and oil during the Soviet rule in Turkmenistan, all data related to the creation of the crater is classified as top secret information. Number 14. Sinkholes are a recurring phenomenon in Guatemala City. For instance, in 2007, three people in several houses disappeared into the earth. But nothing could prepare the city for what happened on May 30th, 2010. A massive hole, approximately 59 feet or 18 meters in diameter and 30 stories deep, suddenly opened in the heart of Guatemala City. It swallowed a three-story building in a house, with reports of one person losing their life in the incident. Sinkholes typically form when underground rivers or water reservoirs erode the rock, causing the underground above to collapse. However, Guatemala City is mainly built on weak materials like volcanic pumice, leading to sinkholes that form extraordinarily quickly, with little time to escape. The cause of the formation is often attributed to tropical storm Agatha. Some specialists speculate that broken underground pipes caused water to flow beneath the building, contributing to the formation of this massive hole. Guatemalan officials worked urgently to locate the leak and fill the hole to prevent further widening. Filling a hole of this size, however, could take years, especially in the challenging conditions of Guatemala City's slums, where transportation is quite slow. Number 13. Dean's Blue Hole is located in the Bahamas on Long Island, and it's one of the deepest known blue holes in the world. It plunges to a depth of approximately 663 feet, or 202 meters, making it the second deepest blue hole globally after the Dragon Hole in the South China Sea. It's also the second largest blue hole, with the Belize Blue Hole being larger but not as deep. Dean's Blue Hole is surrounded by a beautiful beach and is enclosed on three sides by a natural rock amphitheater. This picturesque setting with its turquoise lagoon and powdery white sand adds to the allure of the hole. It's also a popular destination for divers and snorkelers, and the crystal clear water provides excellent visibility of up to 115 feet or 35 meters. The calm and sheltered nature of the Blue Hole, protected from strong winds and waves, even makes it suitable for novice swimmers. Number 12. The city of Berenzniki, located in the Urals of Russia, faces a unique and challenging situation as it slowly sinks into the earth. With a population of over 150,000, the city was built atop a potash mine a common practice during the Soviet era. After nearly a century of mining, deep voids were left beneath the city, with the ceilings of those underground caverns supported only by walls and pillars of soluble salt. In 2006, a freshwater spring began flowing into the mine. Situated approximately 722 to 1,476 feet or 220 to 450 meters below the surface, this inflow of water dissolved the supporting pillars, resulting in building collapses and significant damage to residential areas and businesses. The city now contends with several sinkholes, with the largest one, nicknamed the Grandfather, being nearly 1,312 feet or 400 meters wide and over 656 feet or 200 meters deep. The sinkhole poses a threat to the only railway line to and from the potash mines, which are a vital source of employment and economic activity in the city. The mines produce about 10% of the world's potassium, 
Engineers have assured authorities that no new sinkholes will form, but vigilant monitoring remains necessary. However, approximately 12,000 residents decided to leave for more stable ground. Number 11. The Sari Sari Nama sinkholes located in Venezuela are situated hundreds of kilometers away from the nearest road or city. They're hidden atop flat-topped mountains called tepus, ranging in height from 1985 to 7,700 feet, or 300 to 2,350 meters. Mount Sari Sari Nama is covered in lush forest, with trees reaching heights of 49 to 65 feet, or 15 to 25 meters. To date, four sinkholes have been discovered on the mountaintop. The existence of these sinkholes was unknown to the wider world until pilot Harry Gibson noticed them on the mountaintop in 1961. Subsequently, expeditions were organized and in 1974, a helicopter landed on the summit to explore them. Each of the four sinkholes on the mountaintop has its own unique circumference and height. The largest sinkhole has a circumference of 1,155 feet or 352 meters and a depth of 1,030 feet or 314 meters. At the bottoms of some of the sinkholes, there are forest ecosystems with their own distinctive flora and fauna, including frogs and potentially new species unknown to science. Number 10. On February 12, 2014, the National Corvette Museum gained international attention when a sinkhole suddenly opened up in the museum's sky dome early in the morning. Unfortunately, eight Corvettes fell victim to the sinkhole. Thankfully, no one was inside the building at that time, but security cameras captured the incident as it unfolded. To commemorate the two-year anniversary on February 12, 2016, the museum unveiled a new exhibit that tells the fascinating story of that fateful day. The National Corvette Museum opened its doors on September 2, 1994, with a facility approximately 63,000 square feet or 5,853 square meters. A notable feature of the museum was the Yellow Sky Dome, visible on the nearby Interstate 85. Over the years, the museum had become a sanctuary for rare Corvettes and a popular visitor destination. The sinkhole incident, which occurred while the museum was closed, was nothing short of a miracle, as there were no injuries. Further investigations revealed that water had gradually eroded the ground beneath the museum. Number 9. Impressive video footage shows the isolated farmhouse precariously perched on the edge of a massive water-filled sinkhole in a rural community in Mexico. Originally about 15 feet or 4.5 meters in diameter, it eventually grew to approximately 30 feet or 9 meters wide. However, it has now expanded to more than 400 feet or 122 meters wide and 148 feet or 45 meters deep. After the house collapsed into the sinkhole, only one bedroom and part of an exterior wall remained standing. The sinkhole contained swirling water, adding to the frightening scene. The family that lived in the house was safely evacuated, and fortunately, there were no reported injuries. The cause of the sinkhole may potentially be attributed to a combination of factors, the softening of cultivated fields in the area and the extraction of groundwater, which can lead to subsurface destabilization. Number 8. Located in the frigid Northwest Territories of Canada, approximately 186 miles or 300 kilometers northeast of Yellowknife is the Diavik Diamond Mine, the largest raw diamond ever unearthed in North America. Since its establishment in January 2003, the mine has consistently produced an impressive annual output of rough diamonds, ranging from 6 to 7 million carats. By 2013, the mine had amassed an astonishing total of 84 million carats. What sets the mine apart is its unique location beneath a lake, which necessitated the construction of pits within the lake itself. To protect the clear waters of Lake de Grasse, a dike was built before the pits were excavated. The dikes had to be completed during the four months when the lake wasn't frozen. The first dike completed in 2002 was waterproofed and then emptied three months later. The turbid water was carefully cleaned before being discharged back into the lake. In 2006, a smaller dike was also successfully built. In September 2012, the mine underwent a remarkable transition from an open pit mine to an underground mine. This shift required further technical and construction achievements, including the establishment of ventilation systems, pump stations, 12.5 miles or 20 kilometers of tunnels, vertical shafts for ventilation and water drainage, and various other operational spaces. Number 7. In the midst of a large Russian city near the Ural Mountains lies an apocalyptic hole that looks like it came out of a video game. The sinkhole, with a width of approximately 98 to 131 feet, or 30 to 40 meters, appears to have swallowed multiple houses. Preliminary findings suggest that it formed shortly after a nearby salt mine experienced flooding. This, combined with a powerful earthquake that occurred in the same region in 1994, points to the possible involvement of intense underground flows of highly pressurized gas, often associated with salt mines. The affected mine is responsible for producing over 2 million tons of potash. A potassium-rich salt used as agricultural fertilizer. In response to the situation, the mine's owner halted production at the site, 
He evacuated the mine and instructed approximately 1,300 employees to stay home. However, the particular mine had already collapsed in January 1995, resulting in gas explosions in the surrounding areas. Number 6. The Berkeley Pit, a former open copper mine in Butte, Montana, holds a significant place in American history, as the copper extracted from it played a crucial role in the electrification of the country. It's filled with over 40 billion liters of acidic water, as well as heavy metals and unique microscopic life forms. Additionally, it's one of the few places in the world where visitors can pay to witness waste materials firsthand. An aerial view reveals an enormous black spot on the landscape, stretching over a length of 5,250 feet, or 1,600 meters, and a width of 2,625 feet, or 800 meters. The water near the surface displays a reddish tint due to the iron content, while deeper down, copper concentrations contribute to a vibrant lime green color. The mixture is deadly, as it affects the digestive system if consumed. Interestingly, despite the harsh conditions, new species of fungi and bacteria have adapted. The dimensions of the Berkeley Pit are impressive. With a length of 7,000 feet or 2,134 meters, a width of 5,600 feet or 1,770 meters, and a depth of 1,600 feet or 488 meters. Number 5. Also known as Yongle Blue Hole bears the esteemed title of the deepest known blue hole in the world. With a depth of 985 feet or 300 meters, this natural wonder is located about 5.6 miles or 9 kilometers north of Drummond Island. From an aerial perspective, blue holes exhibit a distinctive blue color, giving them their name. Local fishermen refer to Dragon Hole as the Eye of the South China Sea. And according to legend, it's believed to be the spot where the Monkey King, as depicted in the famous novel Journey to the West, discovered his golden cudgel. But you might be wondering how blue holes actually form. A common method is related to the melting of ice structures at the surface, creating large pits where the ice once existed. In other cases, disruptions in the ocean floor caused by tectonic shifts led to the accumulation of sand and debris. Number 4. Kimberley, South Africa is known as the home of the world's largest diamond mine, famously referred to as the Big Hole. This colossal excavation, discovered in 1871, played a pivotal role in the history of diamond mining. The Big Hole, located in Kimberley, has a rich legacy, yielding nearly 15 million diamonds during its operational years, which came to the end in August 1914. The sheer scale of this man-made marvel is truly impressive, with a depth of 705 feet or 215 meters, in an area that once measured 2 million square feet or 170,000 square meters, and it reached a depth of 3,600 feet or 1,097 meters, all while yielding approximately 3 tons of diamonds. The discovery of diamonds in the Kimberley Diamond Mine led to a significant diamond rush, attracting people from various countries. This led to the establishment of two major mining companies. D. Beers and Kimberly Mines, which later merged into D. Beers Consolidated Mines Limited, a globally renowned diamond mining company. Number 3. In the town of Bayou Corn, Louisiana, a disturbing sinkhole appeared on August 3, 2012, with dimensions comparable to a tennis court. The collapse made itself known with a significant discharge of diesel oil emanating from underground. So in the early hours of this particular day, the ground cracked open, creating an insatiable chasm. It stretched out to 325 feet, or 99 meters in diameter, and extended hundreds of meters deep, swallowing towering trees. Additionally, it sucked water from the surrounding marshes and released methane gas from depths of 985 feet, or 300 meters, or more below the surface. Over a year later, it expanded to approximately 10 acres and continues to grow, approaching the size of nearly 20 football fields. With a slow appetite, it gradually devours parts of the forest and gets closer to an earthen berm built to contain its oil-laden waters. Number 2. Located in the arid Atacama Desert in northern Chile, the region may be sparsely populated, but it boasts an abundance of mineral wealth, especially copper, gold, silver, and other industrial metals. Among the notable mines in the area is the Chuquicamata Mine, home to the world's largest open pit copper mine, and the second deepest open pit mine globally. This mine has been operational since 1910 and the largest open pit stretches impressively over 3,280 feet, or 1,000 meters in depth, 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters in width, and 6,400 feet or 5,000 meters in length. Copper mining has been part of the region's history for centuries, with indigenous people utilizing the copper deposits to craft weapons and tools. However, the mine is undergoing a transformation from an open pit operation to an underground mine. It's estimated that the mine holds about 1.76 billion tons of copper. An interesting fact is that the project is expected to generate about 7,500 jobs during the construction phase. Number 1. During the intense space race of the 1960s between the United States and the USSR, both nations aimed to not only achieve dominance in space, but also explore the depths of our planet. 
This quest eventually led to the creation of the deepest borehole ever drilled. Located in Russia, the Kola Super Deep Borehole claims the title of the world's deepest hole. Its depth surpasses the Mariana Trench. The Kola Super Deep Borehole extends approximately 40,000 feet, or 12,262 meters into the Earth's surface. For comparison, the depth of this hole exceeds the combined height of Mount Everest and Mount Fuji. It also goes deeper than the lowest point of the Mariana Trench, which sits at 36,200 feet below sea level in the Pacific Ocean. However, this Soviet drilling project caused unexpected discoveries. It demonstrated the absence of the Conrad discontinuity, the transition between granite and basalt at the expected depth, also the presence of liquid water at unforeseen depths, and the identification of microscopic fossils of single-celled marine organisms, dating back over 2 billion years. Which hole would you like to visit? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.